everybody welcome back on our youtube channel for uh, the ones that don't know me my name is francesca and i'm part of the uh, team of fattoria di montemaggio so today we are going to discuss about a very specific topic very specific argument which is related with the moment of vinification with the vinification process and this is a uh, this is an argument uh, that it's really you know discussed when it comes about wine lovers. A lot of people, um, both on social media as both when they come to visit us, uh, made a lot of uh, question about it. So I've decided today here to try to clear out this topic in this video. We're talking about a pumping over, fooling, and the stage. These are all different steering techniques, and again, those are related with the vinification process with the vinification moment. So let's dive into it. So let's start talking about the vinification uh, process. Let's try to understand what is exactly the vinification uh, process. The vinification uh, is the biochemical process of transformation of the grapes into wine. That's it. Simple as that. The skin of the grape, of course, has naturally, on top of them, basically, some kind of natural yeast, which are called Saccharomyces, which are the responsible for transformation of sugar into alcohol. This is the um, alcoholic fermentation. During the vinification process, we do not uh, have only the alcoholic fermentation going on. We have another process, uh, at least when it comes about the red wines and partially the rosé, which is the phenomenon of maceration, which is partially triggered by enzymatic reaction and uh, is uh, usually facilitated and made more effective by means of different steering techniques. As we were saying earlier in this video, uh, pumping over, fooling and the restage. Most of the people think all of these three techniques are more or less the same. So that's the reason why we wanted to make this video. We wanted to clear out this argument and make it a little bit simpler. And of course, uh, uh, we thought it was uh, nice to you know, analyze all the different techniques one by one. So let's start talking about the pumping over process. So pumping over process is a process, of course, that you want to do after the start of alcoholic fermentation, when the uh, yeast, the natural yeast, the saccharomyces, started to produce uh, the uh, carbon dioxide. Because of carbon dioxide, you will observe an elevation of the skins. What I mean, basically, you're going to observe a separation of two uh, uh, masses at that point. So the liquid mass, so the, the, the liquid mass and uh, the solid mass are going to be separated. The liquid mass, it will be on the bottom part of the tank. The solid mass will be on the top. Again, the solid mass are the skins. So um, this kind of uh, separation is kind of like a problem because you want to have skin and juice in contact in order to have the um, exchange of anthocyanins, which are going to give color to the, to the wine. So that's the reason why it's so important when it comes about the red wine production. So at that point, you want to uh, pump the juice from the bottom part over the top to make skin go down again and finally have the contact throughout all the entire fermentation process. You can do this process uh, with the presence of air or with the absence of air. That's of course a decision of the um, wine maker, of the uh, cellar manager, uh, and it's based on the situation. Of course, if you have some kind of like reduction, so if the most needs, uh, of course, air, you're going to do this uh, technique in the presence of air. Otherwise, you will do in the absence of air. Uh, of course, how many times should we do a pumping over uh, per day? Well, again, this is a decision of the winemaker, of the cellar manager or of the enologist, uh, and it's based on um, a simple fact. Uh, so the question here is uh, if you want a darker wine or if you want to maintain a lighter color wine. If you want a dark wine, of course, you're going to uh, proceed with many pumping over uh, and, uh, of course, you're trying to uh, of course, uh, have much more exchange between skin and juice and, of course, more passage of anthocyanin, which are going to give to your wine way more, uh, you know, intense color. When it comes about Fattoria di Montemaggio, of course, we really like to be faithful to the vintage. What do I mean by it? Well, uh, of course, if you have a very warm vintage and you know that you can extract way more color, because, of course, usually... Uh, in a uh, colder climate, you tend to produce, of course, lighter wine, not so colored one. In a warmer vintage, you're going to be capable of a, a much more important extraction, so you can proceed with way more pumping over. In a colder vintage, on the other hand, 
maybe you want to proceed with less bumping over because anyway you're not going to extract that much. So let's talk about now about fulling. Fulling uh, is the English word for follatura, which is a procedure which is made by hand and consists in basically creating some kind of pressure exerted by a piston. Traditionally, it was uh, done with uh, um, a tree branches cut off. And basically, you put pressure on the uh, head, on the cap of the uh, skin, so the, you know, the, the solid mass which is on the top of the, the tank, and uh, you put pressure until it breaks and it fall down, again in contact with the juice. The stage is done uh, instead with a total discharge of the liquid part from the vinification tank, which is transferred to another tank by means of a pump. In this way, the cup is laid at the bottom part of the uh, tank, uh, where thanks to the force of gravity and to its own weight, it tends to compress. The mast, intended as the liquid part, is transferred in the second tank where the uh, skins are resting uh, after about two hours. It's pumped over the cap and this operation has the function of the distrugating uh, the cap, uh, even though it's necessary to avoid too much pressure because otherwise you will smash the skins. The goal here is to extract the desired compounds while uh, avoiding the uh, mistreating uh, of the raw material. So we arrive at the end of this little video. I hope you enjoy. And for whatever question, please don't hesitate to write to us on our social media pages uh, or uh, even on our website, we have a chat which is directly connected with us. So it's super easy to interact with so us. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, there's a link in the description if you're interested in our wines that will bring you directly to our our issue. So thank you so much and see you next time. Ciao!